Click, 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 click. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Hugs. Before we get any further, allow me to get this out the way. If you would like one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching with yours truly, please feel free to click my link in the description box and or comment section below. Please also be sure to read my entire disclaimer on my website before booking. Okay? Thank you. Love you. Mwah. So today, y'all, I really, really, really wanted to talk about signs. I wanted to talk about signs because it is seemingly a very controversial topic of discussion in the law of assumption community. And I do understand why, but I would like to give some clarification on what signs really are and what they really mean. So when you are beginning to impress your subconscious and you are feeding yourself an entire new story, your subconscious will literally begin to reflect that. That is the entire purpose and job of your subconscious. It is what has been keeping you alive since the day that you were born and it is what's going to keep you alive until you take your last breath. It is something that is based off of survival and it is always reflecting to you what you are dominantly telling it. Your subconscious is there to prove you right at all times, which is why since we've had negative assumptions in the past, we've had negative experiences to further prove that. So a lot of people will say that, you know, signs are not to be focused on, which I, I agree in some, to some extent. Um, and you know, I, I, don't, I don't think that people are really recognizing the actual significance of them and what they really mean. So when you are implementing a new thought into your subconscious, and it starts reflecting out, it can seemingly come about in ways that are very teeny tiny, like almost subliminal or easy to miss if you don't pay attention. For instance, if you're manifesting an SP and you start seeing their name everywhere, hearing people say their name all the time when in the past you've never heard anyone say a, a certain name like that before, or you'll see the car that they drive or you'll hear a song on the radio that reminds you of them and it's y'all song or whatever. Those are the beginning phases of your subconscious taking the information that you gave it and pushing it back out to you, AKA a sign. Okay. Sign, which just simply means that the manifestation is done. I'm gonna tell you why. Once your subconscious starts reflecting things to you, no matter how faint it is, no matter how insignificant or unimportant it seems, your manifestation is done. And I've used this analogy on Twitter because the same way if I was to take a tray of cookies and stick them in the oven and in five to seven minutes, I see that the cookie starts getting brown on top. It starts getting golden, but I know, okay, my cookie ain't done yet. It's still got a little bit more baking to do. But I know that in another five to seven minutes, surely these cookies are going to be finished because I put them in the oven, therefore they have to come out. The same goes for when you see signs and when you're manifesting. The beginning phases of your subconscious pushing out what you're dominantly telling it means that your manifestation is done because it is just going to continuously show up in all different types of ways and all different types of corners that, that seems so insignificant, but it's going to push out until it reflects exactly what you have been telling it. If I tell myself I have, a, I'm a, I'm a million dollar lottery winner, my brain, is going to absorb that information. I might see people on TV winning a million dollars. I might hear conversations overlapping where people say something about a million dollars. I might hear my friend say how she's been thinking about playing the lottery for a million dollars and she never normally says that. My reticular activating system is doing its job. My confirmation bias is doing its job. My subconscious is doing its job. That just means the manifestation is done. Cause once it goes in, it has to come out. The more that I persist and the more that I continuously tell myself something, the more it has to push. The more, once it goes in, it has to exert, okay? So that is why when you see signs, 
That is why when you see other people getting your manifestation before you get it or you get frustrated because it's just like every other person other than your SP is coming your way and you're getting hit on, but it's not the person that you want. It simply just means that your manifestation is done. Your subconscious has fermented in the, in the information that you have dominantly told it. It is absorbing it. And it is saying, okay, friend, here we go. I'm about to start proving you right. Even if it is in the simplest of ways, even if it is something that seems so small, so minuscule, something that you wouldn't think twice about, I'm proving to you that what you are telling me is true. I'm proving to you that what you are telling me is going to become my reality. So that's why I'm doing this stuff. That's why I'm showing you this shit. That's why, that's why you're, ooh, woo! <laughs> That's why you're getting these synchronicities. That's why you're getting these messages. It's not just in vain. It's not just for shits and giggles. That's why there's no such thing as no movement because essentially everything that you see that relates to your manifestation is literally movement and proof. I keep doing a thing like they do on TikTok, like the push and pee, I'm pushing pee, I'm pushing pee, I'm pushing pee, I'm pushing pee. Push anyway, but yeah. Okay. I don't think that you should be getting hyper fixated on signs. Is it okay to acknowledge a sign? Yes. I acknowledge signs all the fucking time, but I also tell myself when I acknowledge them, that just means the manifestation is done. My, my, my subconscious is impressed now. It's literally doing its job. The reverse can't happen. Now it's impressed. This is what persistence paying off looks like. So now it's just going to keep reflecting exactly what I'm telling it until it gets to the point where it's my exact precise manifestation. And it's going to push out in a way that is so natural and so seamless that it seems like it would have just happened anyway. I tell y'all all the time, manifestation is so easy and it's so natural that it just seems like it would have happened any damn way. Okay, so stop doubting stop getting stuck on not seeing any movement stop feeling like all you see is signs and the signs don't mean anything and, and and now you're stuck on the signs you can't get off the signs it just means your manifestation is done i need you to stop doubting yourself i need you to stop thinking of yourself as min minuscule i need you to stop thinking of yourself as somebody who's not capable you are so much more powerful than you are giving yourself credit for I need you to show up that way, okay? I told y'all I wasn't coming here to play anymore. We're getting the desires. We're going into 2023. 2023 is right the fuck here. We're not going into 2023 with a victim mindset, feeling bad for ourselves, feeling sad. Yes, it's okay to have emotions. Yes, it's okay to have moments, but we're not taking that victim, that victim mentality with us into 2023 and beyond. As a matter of fact, it shouldn't even be here now. I want you to stop thinking that everything is just so ho-hum, like it doesn't have a bigger meaning and that it just can't possibly mean that your manifestation is done. Your manifestation is here. Your manifestation was done the minute that you decided it was, okay? Stop doubting. Stop getting hung up. <laughs> I look crazy when I smile like that, like a crazy person. <laughs> but stop getting hung up. Stop convincing yourself you're doing something wrong. We don't do that here. No more. The manifestation is done. The manifestation is whole. The manifestation is finito. The manifestation exists. The manifestation is the only way you should be looking for confirmation when it comes to that is going within. Asking yourself, what does my 4D reality look like? Is my mind lining up with the story that I'm dominantly telling myself? Am I showing up as the version of me who has it all, that's stable, that's secure? That's all, you don't need to ask no 3D. You don't need to ask the external source. You don't need to ask SP. You don't need to ask no damn body, but yourself, cause you are God, okay? So just remember, them damn signs means it's done. Them damn signs means you have it. It's already put in place, baby. Ain't no need to hope and pray and wish and all this shit. It's done. It's already in its final form. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys would like to, please go ahead and follow me on Twitter at It's Her Universe. And until next time, you know that I love you.